This is Taha Hawaii with 25 foot waves born every 12 seconds. They spell defeat for Australia's midget Farrelly, who loses his surfboard riding title to Joey Cabell of the Wind and Sea Surf Club, California. This is the International Surf Riding Championship for 1963. But now there's a new trophy to be won by the world champion for 64. And the stars from America, Hawaii, Peru, Britain, Africa, New Zealand, France and Australia meet at Manly Beach to decide who he'll be. It's a comparatively small surf with four to five foot waves. That pleases Midget Farrelly, who won in similar conditions in Hawaii two years ago. There's a crowd of more than 40,000 to see the finals. Randy Butler, a surprise heat winner, strikes trouble and is wiped out. Here's Mike Doyle of the United States showing the star which has made him one of the world's top riders. Today, he's placed second. There are women finalists too, and Australian Phyllis O'Donnell from Queensland takes the title with the American star Linda Benson a close second. But main interest centers on the men. Here's Americans Mike Doyle and little John Richards. The judges come from the United States and Australia. Joey Cabell, the current Makaha champion. He prefers a bigger surf to the one that's running today, but he can handle anything. And now the midget himself. He's completely at home. And with two almost perfect rides demonstrating tight functional surfing, he's notched the title again. Farrelly's won the coveted title for the second time ahead of the two Californians, Doyle and Cabell. He gets a big evasion as he receives the award. Australia's world champion... The strident notes of a stomp band herald the arrival of the crowd bent on pure enjoyment. <laughs> to the sea on surfboards at Avalon Beach, New South Wales, and a difficult surf is rolling in from the Pacific as riders head for the water. It's going to be tricky enough to cause an upset on the New South Wales titles. By a process of elimination, the contest evolves quickly into a 20-minute surf-off between 17-year-old Bob Brown and former world champion Midget Farrelly. And just watch him. It goes to show that Midget Farrelly can stick to his board like glue, but this time he is going to come unstuck. He's ridden the giant waves at Makaha in Hawaii, but an Avalon dumper is not easy. Hold on, Midge. Too late. Bob Brown now has the judge's eyes, and the surfing teenager is showing some classy form. He is declared the new champion of the surfing state. <laughs> 